Happy New Year, everybody. Today on AYL, we're celebrating in our usual style by looking back over the past year at our favorite adventures, most popular destinations, and the mistakes that make us all laugh. It's our blooper special, and we'll have a few things that are guaranteed to put a smile on your face. While we do that, Chad, Rhea, Darren, and Jill will be checking out one snow destination with food, comfort, and enough thrills to start out your year right. It's the AYL blooper special, and it starts right now. Winter is here, and so is the new year. Wow, it's poetic. <laughs> wow. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we're the Kinders. After Darren, you didn't know. Jill, yeah. and Jason. <laughs> and we are up here today at Beaver Creek Lodge in Logan Canyon on historic Highway 89 with our historic friend, Brian Lundahl and Lance, who uh, are the family that owns and operates this village. We want to thank them for hosting us for our New Year's show. What a great facility this is. I mean, this is just phenomenal. And to think you built it all by yourself. Yeah, well, that's been a while ago, but it sure is fun to have you guys back. So we're excited to show you some of our snowmobiling today. And, and we got brand new, new snowmobiles again this year. And Beautiful. And, uh, and new gear, which I'm wearing. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, just yeah. great, great rental gear. I'm, I'm toasty already. Lance, you're gonna you're gonna get us stuck, unstuck if we get stuck. That's why I'm here. <laughs> We're so glad you're here. Pick the sled up. We got a lot of bloopers to show you, as we usually do on our uh, on our New Year's show. But right now, we're gonna give you a little bit more information about this area. I've lived here my entire life. I've made my living here for. 25 years or so, and uh, I, I know what to expect. I, I know how to show people a good time. The biggest thrill I get is when I take people, they've never had this experience, and I just totally hit, just hit a home run with them and they thoroughly enjoy it. I've had a lot of people say to me, this is the best time they've ever had in their life. The trails are maintained in good shape. On the Idaho and Utah side, they're groomed a lot, so you don't get a lot of washboards. It's not beat up like a lot of places, the big no, name known places where you, you have to weave through riders. You don't find that here. And I believe that they're uh, better than most places. There's terrain for everybody. I, if it's your first time on a sled, we can find you a nice flat area. And if you, if you really want to hit the trees and boondock it and tear it up, there's, there's that. So it really appeals to uh, multi levels of riders here. Frequently we have people come to Logan who are business people from back east and they show up maybe even a suit and tie and they say, man, we'd love to go snowmobiling, but we just don't have the gear for it. We can dress you as you come. We have everything. The boots, the clothes, the coats, the bibs, and we can outfit you from head to toe if you were jet dressed to go to the beach that day. We well, are coming back to a warm place. There's two fireplaces. There's a game room upstairs with shuffleboard, pool table, foosball. So you can come back, relax, and again, be around your friends or your family, whoever you chose to come out here and ride with. You can't beat the, the views from here. It's just a beautiful place. You come back, you relax, you've had your, your stomach's full and that, that pillow will be calling your name if, you, if you've uh, had a big day of riding. The rooms are comfortable. There's kind of that cozy feeling, cabinish style, the beds are great. All right, we like to offer people a package deal where they come, their meals are provided, we provide some rental snowmobiles, we have the best snowmobile gear available. We'd love to see you all out here. Come visit us at uh, Beaver Creek Lodge. And I promise we'll show you a good time and once you've been here once, you'll come back. You know, Rhea, Brian was right. You only have to go about, oh, I don't know what, 20, 25 minutes to get from the lodge up to this really great snow. Gosh, it was, it was just lickety split and all of a sudden we're buried in it. Yeah. Not really buried in it, but <laughs> there's a ton of snow. Perfection, perfection in the lodge and on the snow. Exactly. Speaking of perfection, Rhea. That's right. We are going to head to our travel adventure. This was our most popular travel adventure this year. And we're going to head to Mackey, Idaho on a really fun ATV Jamboree. It's often been said that big things happen in big places, and I guess to an extent, that's true. But today I found that big things also happen in very little places. I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure, and I am in Mackey, Idaho. It's a town you probably never heard of before, and rightfully so, but 
If you are into ATVing, if you love dirt bikes, this is a place you need to come and I want to show it off to you today. Nestled in a verdant green valley in the heart of central Idaho, Mackey is a town few travelers stumble across by accident. Located well off the main thoroughfares of Interstates 15 and 84, Mackey quietly goes about its business of farming, ranching, and the main street commerce common to rural hamlets of the West. That unassuming exterior is only the introductory layer of what has become one of the most impressive off-highway destinations in the Rockies, combining history and adventure with some of the most striking landscapes anywhere in the world, all accessible right from the center of town. This is the real Mackey, Idaho. We're just more of a, just a backcountry, go do your thing, and if you aren't backcountry, then you really probably have no business being here. Been here 60 years, have absolutely no desire to be anywhere else. People are very friendly and you know, we just have a great time here. Mackey started life like many Old West outposts as a mining enclave. Even today, some mining still occurs on the peaks to the south, but most of the extraction industry has become little more than a proud part of the city's colorful history. Remnants of that time have been carefully curated and placed on display for interested visitors to appreciate, while entire smelting operations, long since abandoned to time and the elements, dominate entire trail systems. And that is where Mackey has come into the 21st century like few other spots on the map. They have embraced off-highway travel, creating loop systems and branch trails wherever mining roads existed. ATVs are allowed on city streets, with OHV trails taking off in all directions right from town. To the south, you can spend hours touring old mining facilities, wandering around buildings that once produced ore by the ton, but now sit decayed in the summer breeze. To the north, an entirely different world opens up to riders. Here you can pass through a rocky canyon that opens up on peaks that make you feel like you're in Central Europe. In fact, one of the main trails in the area is called Swiss Alps because of the distinct beauty and towering presence of the snow-kissed mountains. No matter where you turn, you'll find open access and a view that will widen your eyes. We're a, an ATV-friendly town and it's unlimited. You know, people can ride any place they want to ride and it's kind of up for the grabs. So. I, I really don't know what to tell them. They have to come here and experience it, so. Surprisingly enough, the ATV trails are just the beginning. Mackey is on the doorstep of some of the most iconic destinations in Idaho. A half hour to the south, you have Craters of the Moon, a volcanic expanse of lava rock and caves that takes you back to the time of the dinosaurs or the early days of Earth's formation. You could spend days here delving beneath the surface and finding hidden crags few people have ever seen. Now back in town, you have hiking, fishing, everything you'd expect from an area as diverse as this. You never know what you're going to find when you take the highway less traveled through a state like Idaho, where most people only get off the freeway for gas anyway. It's places like Mackey that prove just how much adventure is out there over the horizon, and it can be found in the most surprising places, no matter how small. We take it for granted here because we've, we've lived here all our lives, and. The people that come here, I mean, the mountain scenery is just unreal, absolutely unreal. And you can go to lakes, you can, it's pretty much unlimited what you can do and see. You just have to go get it. Sometimes the biggest adventures arrive in the smallest of packages, and that is definitely the case with Mackey, Idaho. Been really surprised with the quality of trails and the landscapes around here. It's absolutely incredible. Now, it's also really easy to find. You just head out of Idaho Falls, heading west on Highway 20 for about uh, two hours, hour and a half, two hours, somewhere around there. And once you get to the town of Arco, Highway 20 turns into Highway 93, but it's the same road. About a half hour after Arco, you're here. It's small, but they have RV parks, they have places to eat, gas, everything that you would need, and you have access to all of these trails. It's obviously a very ATV-friendly place. You need to make it your next destination. Well, for At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. We need to take a commercial break, but we'll be back with more adventure.
Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. Did you know there's only one remaining OHV trail open to access in all of Salt Lake County? Some believe there are now more closed trails in Utah than there are open trails, and the number is growing significantly each year. In some cases, there are no reasons given for the closures. If this makes you uncomfortable and you want to get educated and involved, go to www.usaall.org and consider joining the fight to keep Utah's public lands open. Brought to you by the Utah Shared Access Alliance. Awesome people from Beaver Creek Lodge uh -huh. and Darren. <laughs> We've been out playing and having a great time. This is Jaden's first time snowmobiling that she remembers anyway, and uh, she's doing awesome. What do you think, honey? It was a little scary at first, but as soon as I got the hang of it, it's lots of fun. It's lots of fun. I well, even how, heard how some about boondocking. Is boondocking fun. <laughs> <laughs> Following her dad can be a little scary, but I did hear some woohoos out there, so yeah, that, was that was good. <laughs> Great. Well, right now we're going to go out and do some more snowmobiling, but we've got some more bloopers for you. Fortunately, Jill and I aren't in any oh, of those. Oh no, so we didn't make any bloopers. No, no we'll be, should be fine. <laughs> All kinds of things on the lake, but you know what? There's a lot of snow. Two hours outside of that, you head east. Oh crap, west. Well, big things sometimes call them the. Sometimes the biggest. Sometimes the biggest, biggest adventures. Woohoo! Head them up. Let's move out. We got our arts. Oh, shit. I knew exactly what I was gonna say. Sorry, Steve. Really? Heading out to our R City Ray. Oh my God! You cannot. I. It's challenging enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, next week's show looks like a lot of fun. You decided to pull up here. Just saw that on our travel head. Excellent fun. Oh, we just did a story on that on our trail head. Travel adventure. Oh my God. I'm, you know what, I think, oh. I think, I, I think I'm seriously think there's something wrong with me right now. You're having an aneurysm right now. All right, well, there you had it. You have it. You, I'm gonna do that again. You do what you do in that city, right? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Some amazing shots. Oh, dang it, I was doing so good. <laughs> and then I lost it, guys. Three Corners, which is a place where three feet. Sorry. I'll never be like Darren. He does everything perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're dirty as well, guess what? I can't get into it. <laughs> Part of the the, uh, uh, oh crap. <laughs> the chat looper! Woo! Woo! And create your own adventure. At your leisure. At your leisure. Oh. That was really good right until the end. B! Let it be! Ready? Well, if the normally low prices at Ray City aren't enough to make you think about buying a vacation trailer for Christmas, let me give you one more reason. Grandma. You know, Grandma snores. How about her own private guest house right alongside your house? She'll have her privacy, you'll get a good night's sleep. And bonus, next year when you go to Grandma's house, you'll have your own place to stay. Ray City RV, Utah's low price leader since 1946. Meet the new leader in off-road utility, the completely reinvented Ranger XP1000. It's got the most power, the largest towing capacity, the highest ground clearance, and the best comfort and storage. 
Introducing the all-new Polaris Ranger XP-1000, the hardest working, smoothest riding Ranger ever built. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with a youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Well, we have just had one heck of a day out in the snow. And it's true. We've been snowmobiling and getting that great outdoors and fresh air. It's beautiful up here. It also fires up your metabolism, oh. which makes <laughs> dinner great. Oh my gosh, the thing about this place is their food. Their food is fantastic. And just take a look at this spread. Look what they've done to the soup and the, the roasted vegetables and the potatoes. I wonder if you can just come up here and eat. I would. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, this, this is a spot on thing, not like some of the other things that happened to us during the year. We got some more bloopers for you. Well, we're gonna head to our trail adventure. Oh my gosh. Well, right now we're gonna head to our trail adventure. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? One more time, one, two, three. But right now, we're gonna to head to our trailhead. That was right. Sometimes it's good to take a step bra back. Um, but you know, maybe you're not content to. <laughs> Come here, she's, just, she's not uh, gonna bite you. You know, he thinks I'm one of his children. She's not gonna bite Steven, you. Steven, Steven, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> For riveting tales of Christmas past, I'm saying too much, saying too much, saying too much. This is not fake news. Oh, I'm sorry. He scared the sheesh out of me. <laughs> Weller Recreation right there on SR. My phone is ringing. So you can turn it off, Rick. Tirore Magneto de 650 watts. How's that? You want to go into the Spanish market, Rich? I'll take you there. We have been having such a good, let's start over. <laughs> I have had fun today. And I've just been. We are at Yuba State Lake Park. What? Yuba State, State Lake, Lake Park? Park? Yuba State Lake Park? <laughs> hey, that's a new one. Stop looking at me. Three. Stop it. Well, those were some fun bloopers. Reminds me of some of the trips we've had and how much fun we've had. One of the greatest times this year was down at Easter Jeep Safari. I got to ride, well, not ride, I got to drive. Yeah, you kicked me out of the driver's seat. <laughs> We had a, a group of women um, hosted by Charlene Bowers that got to go out and ride, and they are amazing. Yeah, it was no fun for me at all. No, he had to sit in the passenger seat and be quiet. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I did find some guys down there that were having a great time just on a smaller scale. And every time they wrecked it, it didn't cost them near as much money. No, they, usually they could just flip it back up and keep going. <laughs> So let's show you what we're talking about in this week's Trailhead Adventure. Brought to you by RockyMountainATVMC.com. It takes a big machine to conquer rocks like these. Something forceful and strong that's larger than life. Or maybe not. Oftentimes, we think that when it comes to rock crawlers, size is everything. But one growing sport challenges that preconception by taking the thrills of off-road adventure and shrinking them. It's Recon G6, and it's become a worldwide phenomenon. We basically take a one-to-one -one trail run, and we scale it down tent scale. So with trail markers, we mark the route. Our drivers that we call G6ers, they drive the route. The, the trail markers are numbered. It's not a competition. It's an adventure. I love it. it. It's a passion. I mean, I was always a technique freak, but when I found out that you can actually crawl, rock crawl with those little things, it got really interesting. It's not just going in front, left, right, back. No, you really can crawl like the big ones. And if you do already love the one-on-one -on -one crawling scene and off-road cars, this is perfect for you. We all loved remote control cars as kids, but once adulthood set in, most of us left that passion behind. Not men like Brian Parker. For them, the challenge of rock crawling and extreme trail running didn't end with their full-sized rigs. 
Once they introduced their RCA vehicles into the environment, suddenly they had a new way to experience the outdoors and perform extreme stunts, all without the expensive damage that goes hand in hand with toppling down a cliff face. Brian founded the Recon G6 event series in 2009 as a chance for like-minded sportsmen to get together and challenge each other in some of the most impressive environments on earth. During their competitions, the rules are similar to what you'd find at any rock crawling event, including when the rigs roll down a hill, you can't just walk over and pick it up. You need to get help from your miniaturized colleagues. While the scale may be smaller, the care put into these machines is every bit as impressive as their full-size counterparts. Buying a remote control vehicle is easy. You can do it at any local hobby shop. But from there, the sky is the limit to how you customize and tweak your crawler. Of course you don't leave it stock always. You start putting on better shocks, different kind of steering. You have worn winch that has little 10 scale winches. It just goes on and on and on. The appeal of remote control off-roading goes beyond the standard backcountry explorers. For Joey Weschelberger, a coffee roaster from Austria, seeing these rigs in action in her hometown was enough to set her on a new path. I got into a club in Vienna and yeah, and the next Red Country 6 I had to participate and the next, and the next, and the next, and I think this now is my 14th one. We have Red Country 6s now all over the world. We have it not only overall in the US, we have it in Europe. We just made it to 6 in China. There will be Australia next year. Size doesn't matter in the outdoors. Recon G6 sportsmen are the most extreme example of that fact, as they spin their tires with as much dedication and skill as the big boys. Plus, remote control vehicles open up possibilities for people who never thought they'd be able to rock crawl, either because of circumstance or geography. Even on an everyday basis in the city, you do some urban rock crawling, you always find some park somewhere. And every time we crawl, we find some people that are like, what, really, this works, can I try? What it means to me is that Moms, dads, sons, daughters, families can come out and make memories in a beautiful environment. We're all outdoor-minded people. And what I like about it is seeing the creativity, the individualism. It's just like the one-to-one -one world where your Jeep is just an extension of your personality. Well, for our drivers, their tiny truck is just another extent, extension of their personality. Or maybe it's their dream rig they've always wanted to build. And it all started at a hobby shop with a remote control car. The world of outdoor adventure just got a lot bigger. From the tiny trailhead, I'm Malia Stringham. Family time, friend time, your time. You've been thinking about getting a machine, but which one is right for you? An ATV, side-by-side, -side, or dirt bike? Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, Yamaha, and Beta machines. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Need a tune-up, new tires, or want a winch? Stedman's Service Department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. Welcome to Castle Country, a land as diverse as its people, and a rural area that relies on responsible use of the land. Here, you will find adventure at every turn, from mountain peaks to sun-swept deserts. Castle Country has it all. The nine to five here is five to nine. We earn our scars. We wear our work ethic. We work until the work's done. And when it is, there's a family to raise, a neighbor to check on, a country to feed. A few hours of shut eye to rest up for tomorrow, the day will finally get something done.
in a place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, finishing up our New Year's special, which has really got to be one of my favorites because of all the bloopers. But now comes the time to talk about our favorite moments. Okay, I will confess, my favorite moment, or my favorite adventure, had to be rafting the San Juan River because it's the only leg that I have not done yet in Utah, and that was a cool trip. So my favorite would be riding horses in Monument Valley. In the same place? In the same place. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed that. Well, there's actually all my adventures are good, but that one was incredible. Across the table, Kinders, what was your favorite thing of the year? What do you think, Jaden? What was your favorite? Uh, my favorite was racing at the exotic racetrack in Las Vegas. Yeah? yeah. A little fun going out in that Corvette? <laughs> yeah. How about you, Mom? Well, I have to say one of my favorite just moments was when the gal at the racetrack counter told me that I had beat you. Oh, man. <laughs> she has to bring that up again. <laughs> but I have to say I really enjoyed our trip to um, Hole in the Rock Trail. That, yeah. was a, that was a great adventure. That was, that was quite an outing, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, what about yours? Uh, you know, I actually, I really liked it when we found a winner 4x4 Jamboree last year, and I saw Jill run up behind me and grab the bumper about this high and bring it back to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I was very that grateful. Was, that's exciting. I don't think that was one of my favorite moments. <laughs> but that was exciting. <laughs> well, you know, every year we end up with these great memories. And we have a few that are on the books going forward for next year. And um, uh, we've got an entire trip to Idaho to Stanley planned out. And this time we didn't do it on motorcycles. Yeah, we were in the RV safari. And you're gonna catch all that good adventure uh, during the RV show, which is like the second week in February. Uh, yeah. Is that the RV yeah, show? Just, just before that. Yeah. So look forward to that as an ongoing series. Now, let's take a look at next week's show. Actually, Chad, it's next year's show. Busted. You're right, Jaden. Next year's show. Well, our first episode of 2018 will bring plenty of dark crevices and even a few red rocks to give you the kind of start you want from your new year. Chad and Rhea will be exploring the forgotten corners along the Colorado River by 4x4, while I'll go cave diving along the Grand Canyon. Finally, Reese Stein spends his night in a high mountain yurt. Own the outdoors next week with AYL. Well, next year's show looks great. True, and we want to thank you, all of our fans and our sponsors, for sticking with us for another year. That's right. So between now and next year, you need to get out there and create your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure. See ya. Can we put presents on these? Kinds of bells and whistles for your unit. <laughs> How many people want bells and whistles for their unit? Raise your hand. Tangent slit. Ah.